What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod and I'm a full-time eBay and Poshmark seller. Today I got trip to the thrift number three. So let's go to the thrifts. Let's check about two spots, two different Goodwills. See what I can find to list on eBay and on Poshmark. And I'll do a quick recap at the end of the video. Show you guys how much profit I'll probably make after this one trip. So let's get into it. All right, y'all, so I hit the men's section first as usual, and I came across this vintage uh, military field jacket, and these are really hot right now, especially for me, because as soon as I get it, they're selling really fast. So I made sure there was no flaws or no stains or anything like that. And since this was the first time I found this jacket, I wanted to check the comps. And these look like they're selling anywhere between 40 and 50 bucks. A lot of these, they accepted the best offer, so I'm not exactly sure. But I'll take the risk since this one is exactly that one I saw. And I ended up coming across a golf jacket, more like a golf vest. And I know golf season is definitely around the corner, so I went ahead and scooped this one as well. But I, of course, this is the first time I saw this particular golf vest, so I just wanted to check the comps before I pulled the trigger. And this looked pretty good for me. Next, I ended up coming across a denim shirt, and denim shirts are definitely my style 100%. So usually when I come across them, I'm usually looking to pick them up for myself. But this one, uh, as you guys can see, this collar was just really disgusting. So I just went ahead and put it back. But if you guys see Levi's denim shirts, they do sell, so pick it up. Now I was kind of pressed for time. I didn't want to spend, uh, you know, 30 minutes shuffling through the entire racks so I did go through some of them and I came across this Quicksilver shirt brand new with tags and Quicksilver isn't a great brand but since it is brand new with the tags I figured I'll get at least 20 bucks for this so I went ahead and threw it in my pile I came across two different raw shirts and anytime I pick up these raw shirts they usually do sell within at least 30 days so this fits perfectly with my model even though the shirts in my opinion are really tacky and really ugly but from personal experience, the bigger the embroidery on the back, the better it sells. And this one, as you can see, had no flaws. The other one was in similar condition. Uh, this one just had some more patchwork to it. So I guess this one was a little fancy, if you want to call it. But uh, these shirts usually do sell very well for me. It's a size XL. And somebody asked me if I lot similar shirts. And if this shirt didn't sell so well separately, I probably would have lotted them together. But I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get at least 35 bucks for each shirt. Now with this shirt, I never saw this brand before. I, I believe you would call it Minsky. I'm not exactly sure. But it looked like a pretty high quality shirt. It, there was no flaws with it. And it was more like a shirt jacket because it was a quilted like inside to it. So I definitely had to check the comps on this one since I'm not familiar with the brand. And there was not a lot of these even on eBay listed for sale so of course I wanted to check the sold section to see if they were actually selling and of course there were zero sales but I didn't want to give up so I checked Poshmark as well and it looked like the same seller from eBay cross-listed their stuff on Poshmark so I just left that shit alone now I don't know what got into the person that usually prices their stuff in Goodwill but this is a good brand to look for if you guys can find it but for this price this was just ridiculous. I'm pretty sure they probably was checking eBay and they realized that these sell for a decent amount of profit. So they priced this one way too high. Even on the half off day, I wouldn't pick this jacket up for 35 bucks. So um, definitely just be on the lookout for that brand. But as you guys can see, this today this thrift store was just tripping in terms of the, the prices. Uh, this is a regular Carhartt polo and it had snags on the chest and they still price it for 15. I don't know what they was thinking. And of course I had to check the shoe section before I left and I would usually pick up these sneakers so be on the lookout for these new balances they do sell for like 25 maybe 30 bucks but at that price way too much same thing with these converses they looked pretty good I usually get about 30 bucks for converses but I'm definitely not paying that much so I'll probably wait until the half off day now before I head out I always check the houseware section and I've sold Yankee candles in the past so I always like make sure I check them out if I see them, if, especially if it's brand new. And this one was brand new, but the only thing is I never sold this uh, fragrance before. So I checked the comps and there was actually one available for sale and there was only like one or two sold. So I didn't even want to bother wasting my time doing that one. But if it was Christmas time, I probably would have picked this one up. 
And on the cash register, they had this random like black box. So I had to check and see what was in it. And to my surprise, it was some bicycle pedals. And I had to check these check these out because I never saw this brand of bicycle pedals before. So these pedals actually do sell for a decent amount of money. Um, even pre-owned, they were selling for like, at least people were asking for like 25 bucks. But these were clearly brand new in the box. So I'm pretty sure I can get at least 30, maybe 35 bucks for these. So we'll see how it sells on eBay after I get these listed. Yeah, I like it. I like this. Now, before I left the Goodwill, I wanted to see how much these were actually selling for because I've seen these here for a couple of days now and I didn't check them out. But I figured if I can get at least 15 bucks, I'd go ahead and buy all of them. But as you guys can see, I'll be lucky if I can double my money on this. So these will just continue to sit. actually got pretty excited when I saw these Nerf guns because I know some resellers they sell these and they make a ton of profit but once I saw the price and how much they actually sell for I realized these were definitely not for me. Alright y'all so we back in the crib for a quick recap and in my opinion this video wasn't full of bangers like you guys see in some of my other videos like in some of my thrift hauls where I just share some of like the highlight reels of what I found during the week but I think this is a better representation of what it's like while I'm out thrifting on a daily basis I don't find a ton of bangers and a ton of like huge profit items but these items are the ones that usually I would come across on a daily basis and it would you know just keeping a consistent cash flow in the business because even when you do find two and three hundred dollar items it might take a month it might take two months for those things to sell but a lot of these pieces are the ones that usually just you know pay the bills at the end of the day so I'll just go through a quick little recap show you guys what I picked up and share some of the potential profit margins as well so first up is this vintage pair of Adidas track pants and these track pants are really dope in my opinion the thing that I really did like was the fact that it had like that contrast and cuff and these are the style of pants that I told you guys to be on the lookout for in my first trip to the thrift where I told you guys to make sure you're picking up only the tapered slim fitting track pants because the baggy ones usually don't sell that well but since these are vintage and it's a size large and it has the taper leg it definitely should sell somewhere between 25 to 35 bucks on eBay so I'll see how long it takes for these to sell next up is a first time piece for me and this is from the brand FNG tech and this is a golf vest and as, as you guys saw I checked the comps and it doesn't sell for that much money it usually sells somewhere between like anywhere between 20 and 25 bucks and usually I don't pick up brands that don't have like a strong history of selling a lot I just wanted to give it a test because I know golf season is on the way and this one was really really clean and it did have a nice little logo on the chest that I figured most people would like so I priced this around 20 to 25 bucks and we'll see how long it takes to sell but I definitely wouldn't encourage you guys to pick up this brand because it's it doesn't have a ton of history so if it shows up in my what's so video on eBay or on Poshmark by the end of the month I'll definitely recommend it but if not, you guys can pass on this one. Next up, I got two shirts from the brand Roar. And Roar is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. They have these huge embroideries on the back and on the chest. And I did find two of these. And they usually do sell somewhere between 25 and 35 bucks. So since I picked up two, I, I, I usually would try to lock these together just to see if I can get some more money. But I'll probably list these separately. And uh, these both of these shirts are in really good condition. The black one had a nice little faded effect to it. So I thought that was dope. And the gray one was really good as well. It had some pearl buttons on here. So I figured that's another little, uh, nice little detail, nice little added effect to it. 
Next up is this short sleeve Quicksilver shirt. And this is the, I think the second time I sold a Quicksilver shirt. I usually don't pick up this brand because it's not a strong brand at all. But since this one was a brand new with the tags, I figured why not. And I'll probably get 20 bucks for this and I paid $5 for it. Next is a pair of pants from Xanarobi. And Xanarobi used to be a really strong brand. It used to sell really, really fast. But like most brands, the trend kind of died down, especially with these jogger pants with the, the jogging cuff on the bottom. So I definitely won't be selling this for any more than it least 30 bucks uh, I might get a little less depending on if I get an offer coming really quickly I'll definitely still be listing these on eBay and on Poshmark and you'll see where it sells first next up is this coat from the brand energy and I looked up the comps on this brand and it does I don't see a ton of sales on this one either but this one was practically brand new without tags it even had the little uh, buttons on the inside so I definitely knew nobody wore this jacket so this one I'll probably list it for maybe 60 maybe 70 bucks and it might sit for maybe two to three months but I only paid nine dollars for this and if it does sell for about 50 to 60 it'll definitely be worth my time and lastly in terms of clothes this is a field jacket from Rothko and this is the M65 field jacket and I never saw one of these before but I told you guys before utility jackets and field jackets are definitely really really hot right now I had to pick this one up and after I checked the comps I'll probably get anywhere between like 50 and 60 bucks for this jacket and like I said I usually spend about nine dollars for jackets so hopefully this one does sell fast but even if I have to hold on to it for a little while, I wouldn't trip about it too much because these jackets do sell for a decent amount of profit. Next thing that I found out was actually pretty unique was these Chester pedals. And these are actually bicycle pedals. And these were basically brand new. I'm, I'm going to list them as brand new because it does include the original box as well. And you can tell these were definitely never used or else it would have had like some scratches and some scuffs. So for brand new, I'll probably get about 30 to 35 bucks for these. I'm definitely going to list it as new since it is brand new in the box. And we'll see how long it takes to sell. I definitely never found this brand of bicycle pedals in the past. But of course, summertime is right around the corner. So people are going to be looking for these type of stuff. So that's all I got for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.